Hi everyone, today we're going to be reviewing Kids Bubble Pop Free. Now, the description in the Windows Phone Marketplace says, Kids Bubble Pop is a simple game designed for toddlers, however it is fun for all ages. The purpose of the game is to pop the bubbles as they appear on the screen. Okay, let's click on view. And where is it? Here it is, Kids Bubble Pop Free. Okay, so, the first thing that I noticed when I saw this game was, um, I guess it was the colors a little bit. I mean, they don't really, mm, how do you say, catch my attention, you know, it doesn't really do anything for me. Um, okay, the background photo, I think it's nice, I don't really see it as a kid sort of picture, you know what I mean? Um, I do love the green, it's it's my favorite color, and lately I've been liking gray combined with bright colors like turquoise, yellow, green, so although I like the gray and green, for some reason it just looks a little off. On my screen it does look brighter than um, it looks like on your screen, but still there's something a little, I don't know, it's... I guess it's, I don't really consider it a kid's color. I mean, there's a lot of gray in there. I do like that it has these, it's very simple, you know, you don't have to be clicking around on everything. I mean, you either play your settings. Once you go into the settings, basically it's just if you want to turn the sound on or off. Because the rest, as you can see, is the rate and the search. What would I want to search? Oh, search for other games for the publisher. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, but basically those are the settings. Do you want the sound on or do you want the sound off? We're going to leave the sound on so that you can see how it um, plays with the sound effects that it has as the bubbles are popping. I do like that if I want to play, I don't have to go back to the main screen. I can just play right off of the settings screen. So, this is the game. You can see here of level one and here it'll start counting the number of um, <laughs> bubble burst a the number of bubbles that you have popped so I'm gonna start popping the bubbles you're gonna notice that once the bubbles start popping they're gonna turn like this little into like this little fireworks display and the sound of fireworks I hope you can hear the sound of the fireworks oh let's wait for some here we go let's see I think I I always do this, huh, guys? Okay, here we go. I don't know if you can... Oh. I don't know if you heard the, the sound of the popping. I'm gonna pop some more. See, so if you're popping, like, rapidly, one right after the other, the sound starts all over, so... Okay, so I popped, oh, I didn't realize how many I popped before I went to level two. So, so far I've bursted one, I've bursted four. I popped one bubble, five bubbles. They do take a while. Okay, so 11 bubbles I counted on that one. They do take a while to, you know, to flow up. I like once the hot air balloons start showing up because maybe for a kid is a little confusing you can do whatever you want it's not gonna burst the only ones that will burst are the like the cartoonish looking ones the thing I have with the app is that as you notice in the settings and as you in, excuse me in the main page and as you notice in here the images are beautiful I mean the one with the trees that we saw in the forest I think that those images those photographs are beautiful I don't really see how they're related to anything kids personally I would have preferred that they have I don't know fun images for kids I don't know maybe kids I don't know, kids blocks or you know some sort of toy um, obviously you can't really put a cartoon unless it's your own cartoon and maybe I'm thinking these developer is a new developer so, you know, maybe they don't have the, I don't know, maybe they don't have drawing skills or whatever. That's why they went with photographs. Um, I guess, like, well, what I'm saying is that I guess I would have preferred for 
the images to have been more kid friendly. I'm gonna keep. Um, I'm gonna lower the volume because I want to keep um, popping the bubbles while I speak to you guys. So just so that you can see the other images that they have. Another thing is that. Okay, as I, I do consider myself a gamer, I mean I. I know what Gears of War and Halo is. I just can't play them. I, I mean, I've tried. I really suck. I used to play really good Perfect Dark Zero. But mostly I like uh, dance games, you know, these party games. I love brain games. I am a huge fan of the Professor Layton series. Love Professor Layton. Those are the type of games that I like. So, um, obviously, this is just... And, of course, there's the... Uh, Oh my god, what is it? The ca Candy Crush? That one is okay, because that one you need a little strategy. You're just not, you know, matching colors I all crazy. So, this game I do find it a little mind-numbing. I mean, it's like you're kind of like zombified here. You're just tapping the screen, not really doing anything. Um, so, I don't like it for me, and I also do not like it for my son. If I don't like it for me, I'm not going to like it for my son, probably. Um, he's young. See, this one I really like. The one with the shoes. He's young. Um, um, I downloaded this game when he was younger. I just realized that, oh wait, um, I, I, he played it and then I, so I uninstalled it. And I'm like, oh wait, I should have done a review on it. And so, once I started doing the app reviews, I, that one kept, it, this one kept being like in the back of my head, oh, I have to review it. So the thing is, I don't like it because this is what my kid is going to do. He's just going to tap on the screen all zombie and I don't like it. I like things that he can learn a little from. I mean, maybe younger kids will enjoy it. I guess. I don't know. Um, personally, I don't like it for, for, for my son. So, I mean, it doesn't have that I, I read the reviews um, some people don't like it um, some people do like it I mean there are a couple of reviews that people do like it because it keeps their baby busy you know just like right here we're waiting for the bubbles to show up and I think you know I I, I just don't oh I'm trying to like say something nice but again I just don't I don't like it um, and for my kid He's too young, that mind is still forming and I just prefer just to give him something else that maybe he can learn from or, or I don't know, I just, I don't know. That's it. I don't know what to say about the app. I just, if you do have this app, if you have downloaded it and played it with your kids, I would love to know what your kids think about it. Um, my son did start playing it a couple of times, but then we just put it down. Um, and then he did grab it again one day and he just started playing and it was just, I don't know, I guess I just saw him there just tapping the screen and it just got to me. I just saw like, I am, I am not anti-technology obviously, I am pro-technology, it, ha it has helped me, um, a lot with, you know, reconnecting with old friends and family and I've, I've learned a lot of things with technology, um, so I do find it a benefit. But I do believe that you should disconnect from everything every once in a while. Oh, my screen went out. As you can tell, this is uh, you saw my Um, You need to disconnect every once in a while. But if you are gonna be on something technological, technological, you know, whatever computer, laptop, tablet. I mean, don't. I don't know. I call it zombified, and I saw my son sort of zombified, and I said, no, wait, getting rid of this game. I don't. Can't do it. Can't deal with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. Again, the game is Kids Bubble Pop Free. And I'm trying to... What's this? Dog Raps? Um, M-S-D-O-G-R-A. So I guess that... Yep, that's the publisher. Um, nothing. You can check it out if you want. Again, these are apps for... Windows phone and I would nothing I'll talk to you guys next time for another app review bye